Okay, lads, how you doing? Um, this is a wee approach I'm going to try and take into our game a wee bit. I'm going to use some of these video props just to help us, you know, things we do, things we've been doing in the past on the training pitch and trying to get it to try, transfer onto the match pitch. It, it hasn't really been working for us, but so it hasn't, it hasn't. So ideally what I want to do, everybody has a different learning style, so I'm going to use this here kind of a mechanism everyone learns differently so we're going to use this mechanism as just a way of showing a bit and, and, and using a mental picture of how we want to from certain drills we do how it's supposed to replicate from training pitch to match pitch right so i'm going to start for the past week or two we've been looking at this drill it's an old drill that we've been using on on astro pitches and it's 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 like based on an old style of play like and it's not really old it's more so effective than old football is an old game so what we're going to look at is the wee drill that uh, we've been working on and we you will all be familiar with it nobody will be a stranger to this drill so ideally what it was it was the, the wee triangular pass and we diamond in a diamond so what we uh, would start off here this guy gets it here Or was it this guy? Uh, excuse me. Yes, sorry. Excuse me. This guy passes in here, and what this guy starts to make a wee overlap run in behind here, and these boys here passing, and then it, it comes through in here. Now, okay, there may be any point in this guy, but the drill was, but the drill was, it was, it was pass, pass, pass pass into space this guy overlapped the run and then he plays it in this to this guy and this guy goes to make the same move I play in here pass 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 into space overlap run okay so what we were doing here tonight what the way we've progressed this and the way we want to try and bring this into our game and we're actually we're we're quite certain that, that this is the way we want to do it. So this is this wee idea is going to be very all over the pitch, especially in the final third. We're we're on the right flank here. We're going to, it's going to be used in the left flank and it's going to be used in the centre. So the variations are I'm going to take this guy away and I'm going to add in an opposition an opposite team here. So these guys are going to have a, a back four to contend with. Just let me borrow these guys up, push these down. So tonight at training we were using mannequins last night just to replicate how a back four would be and what we were trying to explore was the channels that are that are available to us. So we'll just set up the wee mechanism here now as in the drill. So we've got a guy here, say centre forward maybe. And then our left midfielder, or right midfielder I should say. So We've come to we've come we've come to a situation where we're on the right flank. So we play we're looking to get this ball in here. So we've got our other centre forward. This is out of a four four two boys, okay. So our other centre forward and our potentially our left winger, okay. And then probably a, a left back as well, creeping in here somewhere. One second. So when we're in this scenario, balls on the right pitch. Ideally, this is where we want our left back. And this is uh, our left midfielder becomes the second striker because this guy's been taken out into play. So ideally, right. So this is where the drill works. Is we play in here. Obviously, on movement. This is all going to be game realistic. So in, in training, eventually, we're going to get this. We're going to take out the cones. And do this with a, with a with a lot more realism to the game. So, ball starts. It's picked up in our own half. You play it inside. This guy makes the run. One reason why it's played in here. Excuse me, that we done this wrong. Yeah. So, start a run here. Play inside. This guy makes his run. He's looking to creep in behind here, yeah. This is the area he wants to get into, ideally to receive the ball. So he's making this run. So the chances are this guy will go with him. 
what what's going to happen is once this guy gets the ball, this guy is taken forward. You're always going to be told closest man to the ball is going to have to get the ball, and that goes for our own defending as well. So this guy is going to be taken in a little bit. We play this ball in here, and it's played out here. The line is broken. We're on side. We can push in. So this ball needs to be received quickly and sent in quickly. Ideally, you know, when it's not going to be a big looping cross, it's going to be a low hard driven cross. So we can get maybe some kind of contact where we don't have to take too many touches, if not one, only one touch. So this is how this this is how that drill is going to work. Now the variation on this place, okay, is let me pull these back. The variation on this, we play in here. It can either be a high ball, high looping ball. These guys could could come tight together, make that fucking option hard. So if it's over the top, it's in. Or tonight, tonight we're using mannequins, so we're spreading the mannequins out. So the we channel is there. Too often or not, a lot of teams and including ourselves, when we're trying to play in, we're trying to play the feet all the time. We need to try and play through these channels because it's it's a clever, it's just a clever way of playing. Um, we make the runs. Hold on. Excuse me. This is all coming from this little drill, this little triangular drill with a third man running. Comes in, comes in here, plays in here. This guy's making his run, and he's he should be meeting that. Should be tight. The run should be well timed. Meet the ball, get it in, cross, and then it is simple, boys. So it's very, that's the variation of that. We. This is how we're going to be effective in our games. The, the, and the, this is going to become rep, the, we're going to rep, rep, repeat 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 over the next couple of weeks till we get this right because if this breaks down he needs to get back he need he needs to get back and he needs to get back or sorry sir he's the second striker so he's going to stay you're going to be pushed up anyway so they did we worked, we spent, we must have spent a good 45 minutes with this. We worked in the centre, we're going to clear this board now. Um, sorry, boys, we're going to clear this board. So it was done in the centre of the pitch tonight too. Now I've done we, we've done it in two ways in the centre of the pitch. The same 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 diamond shape. Exact same as on the left or on the right. Now I've done this intentionally and this is for guys that weren't here tonight, particularly anyone that's gonna be playing striker or anything like that there. Maybe we'll bring in the, the defender for this as well. So you, you, you're the single striker, one or two strikers staying, staying up top. You're, all, you're always going to be mad. Yeah, the, the man's always going to be on you. So we're just going to bring in these other guys as well. Just as, just so I can demonstrate the channels. Now I done this intentionally tonight in training. There's two versions of this. There's a, there's a wider version of it where we're going to be using most, most of half of our pitch, and then there's a wee tight version where we. Basically, if the pass is right and we get into the habit of this idea, we can we're going to split, we're going to create channels simply by by the moving. So it's the same principles as, as out in the right hand side here. Comes out, or we play in here. Sorry, what we done tonight in training. It's a wee bit of a di uh, different pattern to this, right? So play to the centre guy. This guy needs to be shown. Come forward for it. And what's going to happen is he's going to drag this man out. So just a quick, quick layoff, and this guy is the archer's run. Maybe I use a marker or something for this. This guy's going to archer's run after he's played here, and this guy here is going to make another run. His momentum is going to take in. So this ball here, this ball here can be played through this wee gap again over the top into the space of this guy or just a wee quick layoff and this guy's momentum is going to take him through he should by the time you reach by the time the ball gets to here to here this guy's already 
on his way, so maybe just a week quick layoff, and he's through. Defenders do not know what's happened. Now this guy obviously, did, so this ball needs to be quick and precise. We, again, we worked on it in training tonight, and we're going to work on it for another next couple of weeks, just because, just until it becomes second nature. Because when we get into these positions, we don't want one man holding on to the ball and looking to take on three and four men. Because what's going to happen is you're going to get closed in very quickly, very little options, where your chances are. By the time you think that you should pass the ball, it's probably too late. So, a quick, uh, quick reaction to this. So let's be smart. Let's, let's play our passes. The channels are there. Right, okay. So, as per drill, where we take it onto the pitch, this guy here is our centre forward. Plays on. He steps forward, shows for the ball. Ball play to him. This guy starts to move into his new. He he sees a channel. He's going to start moving, so the ball could go out to the left, out, out to the striker's right or left. So we'll go to the right hand side this time. So this guy's making his run. The midfielder. He's made his run. He's into the space. This guy's got the ball. And oh, sorry, this guy, the striker. He played the ball back. Arc your run. So this uh, our our fucking. Our wide player, potentially our, our midfielder, or maybe our, one of our wingers that's come inside from the other side. There's an option there, or we over the top option there. Very fucking simple, boys. If we don't get it right tomorrow, we're going to stick with it until it gets right because it, it. Once we get this right, it's the simplest forms of scoring a goal, right? It's very all easy on a fucking on a tactical board. I know that, but at the same time. It, Let's make the game easy for ourselves. There's no point making the game any harder than it should be. So now I'm going to look at the, the, the wee bit of an expansive version we done of this tonight. We're going deeper, so we're we're going to think about our white players here. So again, now if we're push, we're we're after coming out of, out of our defence. Okay, so if we're coming out of our own defence, we're going to be pushed up a little bit. So now we've just come out of our own defence with the ball. So what we need to do here is let's get the, one of the midfielders. He's going to see the ball, so he he's going to receive the ball. Once he's received this ball, this guy. Sorry, that's this guy. And this guy need to show intent of getting forward on the ball. Need to show intent of making a move. So what we can do is we play the ball forward. Sorry. Play. We're gonna. We make the move. We're gonna play the ball into this space. This is gonna drop back these defenders. He's obviously going to charge. So if he get if he makes his move, he's gonna run into this ball into that space. Then the next move is we quick ball into the striker's feet. This guy's coming inside. If it's, if it's on this side here, this guy's covered inside. So ball to feet. This guy's also pushed up. He's made his move. He's fucking. He started to play. So he wants to get involved. He wants to get his goal too. So options there. He has the ball to feet. Can he turn him? If he can't. Passes there, passes here. So ideally, you can't get turned. You play the pass this way or that way, or maybe even this way because this guy is want to go and, is going to want to get involved as well. So he's going to fucking push in here. You've got three options to get that pass off. This is what we were doing tonight, lads. Anyone that wasn't a training tonight, this is what we're going to be doing for the next couple of weeks, and this is what we're going to we're going to perfect it. Because really what we're talking about is five passes and a goal. We can do it. We've done it so many times. Some of our best football and some of our best goals have come from not holding on to possession too long. So what's going to be required is a lot of effort in running from our fullbacks and our um, uh, and our wingers. So let's just bring in the player a wee bit here. Let's bring in our fullbacks here. 
you know, this guy is cut off, this guy is cut off. Options back in here again. So maybe if we're going to play out here, we've done this in training the last day, we play it back. The fullbacks are making the run. There's the space in front of them here. There's the space. There's the space. We've done this in training last Wednesday. Ball play. Ball played back here. There's the space for the centre uh, the midfielder. There's the space for the centre midfielder. This guy runs in. We've got fucking. We've got a right midfielder. Two attackers. In the in the goal. Ideally, what I would like to see from us. Big loop and fucking uh, big loop and headers into the box doesn't benefit us because there's always big centre packs able to deal with it. Fucking drive them in low and smash it. Drive them in low. We're going to work on this for the next few weeks and potentially all season for as long as we're in the pitch anyway. We are going to work on this. Right, so I'm going to show you some examples 